I'm Erlene Marks. This is the Israel Brief, brought to you, as always, by Lay of the Land, where we take a look at those top stories making headlines in Israel and often beyond that. So uh, talking about looking at headlines beyond Israel, all eyes will be on the United Nations this week for the start of the opening of session of the United Nations General Assembly, or as we like to call it in Israel, our annual Super Bowl, because all eyes will be on what President Biden will say, what the Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas will say, and of course what our Prime Minister Yair Lapid, who uh, has landed in New York City ahead of the UN GA. We will also be watching with great interest what Iran will say and uh, what our regional allies, our Abrahamic allies will say, the UAE, Bahrain, Morocco, Sudan, Will there be hints at more peace with Israel? The next two weeks are a extravaganza of speeches and a political analysis. Now, our Prime Minister Yair Lapid is scheduled to meet with Turkish President Erdogan later today. He will also meet with Jordan's King Abdullah on the sidelines of the UNGA sometimes this week. All the important analysis will be featured right here on the Israel Brief. We now go further afield, further south, to Chile, and Chile's foreign minister has apologized to President Herzog. This was reported to have happened after the Queen's funeral in Britain yesterday. The foreign minister said that she hopes that Chile and Israel can turn a new leaf. Now, what has precipitated this? Last week, Chile's president refused to accept the credentials of Israel's ambassador to Santiago Gil Arcieli, citing political sensitivities around the shooting of a 17-year-old Palestinian during violent clashes with the IDF. The circumstances around that are not clear who is responsible other than this was during fatal or, or rather violent clashes with Israel's defense forces. Following the president's refusal to accept Israel's ambassador's credentials, the Israeli foreign minister summoned the Chilean ambassador to a summons at the offices in Jerusalem. And uh, this could have set off a serious diplomatic spat. However, the ceremony to accept our Israeli envoy's credentials to Chile has been rescheduled for September the 30th. Now, we have spoken a lot about the winds of change blowing through the Middle East, but could those winds be blowing further afield all the way to the Asian continent? And according to the Jerusalem Post, this is highly likely. At the moment, there are two delegations, one from Pakistan and one from uh, Indonesia. These are Muslim-majority countries in Asia visiting Israel. Now, not much is known uh, who is heading the Indonesia delegation other than a senior official, but the Pakistani delegation headed by former Prime Minister Pervez Musharraf is in Israel scheduled to meet with President Herzog later today. The delegation has been seeing the sights of Israel from the north to the south and we really hope that the winds of peace and normalization are now starting to blow much further afield. And ahead of Rosh Hashanah, which begins on Sunday night, what does Israel's uh, statistics look like? Well, according to the Central Bureau of Statistics, Israel's population is at 9.5 million expected to hit 10 million by the end of 2024. At least 74% of Israel's population is Jewish, 21% Arab and 5% neither. And uh, here's to a great new year for all these different sectors of society. So that brings us to the end of today's headlines. Of course, you guys know where to check out our original content right here on our website at www.layoftheland.online, our Facebook page. Thank you to all of you who are following us, our new subscribers.
we're at the uh, at Lotl site rather our YouTube channel is at the Israel brief we would love it if you help us uh, get to bigger numbers by clicking on that red subscribe button and of course sharing news with your friends and we're on Twitter at lay of the land five hit us up with a message there follow us you guys know exactly what to do and I know what to do by saying that this is the Israel brief I'm Raleigh Marks thank you for joining me with your headlines today and I will be back tomorrow.